Consumer stocks are in focus after recent weakness while the markets have been rallying. FMCG, in fact, is the only sectoral index to post negative returns in the last six months. Why has the sector missed the bull run? Shell standing by to tell us how these stocks have performed and what's really going on. And Sagarak Mukherjee will be joining us to give us an insight on what SBI Cap is thinking, what will happen ahead with the sector. First, over to you, Shell. Uh, the screen not looking very pretty when it comes to the FMCG stocks. That's right. It's, it's almost like a bull run which has been missed because when you look at the Nifty uh, over the last six months, from the lows of the, September, uh, of the month of September, you'll see that the Nifty has gone and gained quite significantly, almost a 22% kind of jump. But when you're looking at the FMCG sector, you You'll see it's been quite a uh, flat performance. So let's take a look at uh, this graph and that will pretty much uh, explain what I'm trying to say. The white line over here is uh, the FMCG index and you see it starts right from here and it's pretty much on a flattish kind of a side over the last six months. When you're looking at the Nifty, it's come from the lows and it's risen gradually. So you're seeing that the Nifty has gone and gained almost 11, 11.5% uh, over the last six month period but the FMCG index has gone and given negative returns. Moving ahead, taking a look at uh, how FMCG is really panned out vis-a-vis -vis other sectors, you'll see that the FMCG sector, the BSC FMCG index is the one index which has gone and given negative returns. Rest all the indices have gone and given positive returns. Uh, also, when you're looking at uh, the kind of uh, numbers overall and how the individual stocks have done, you'll see uh, the the, uh, the stocks and uh, you'll see that they've also not done very well for themselves. So, HUL over the last six months has gone and given up uh, almost 11% gains. is one of the heavyweight stocks uh, as far as the FMCG index is concerned. Godrej Consumer also not having a very good run. Marico giving just um, the, uh, is down by a good 5% over the last uh, six months. Uh, and Nestle also in a negative. ITC and Dabur are the only stocks which have actually managed uh, to be in the positive territory over the last six month period. So what's going wrong? Three major uh, issues when you talk about the, the sector. The first one is that overall volumes over the last uh, three to four quarters have been on the lower side. The second one is that uh, overall advertisement costs have been uh, rising across uh, the board for the FMCG sector and again no major immediate triggers are being seen uh, for th these stocks to grow or for their revenues to grow so it's going to be quite interesting how this sector really pans out uh, amidst the kind of rally that we are seeing in the broad markets. All right, Shell. Thanks for that. ITC really the shining beacon when it comes to the FMCG pack. Sagrika Mukherjee also with us from SBI Caps. Sagrika, on the overall market, a lot of people say as elections come, get out of defences, run the uh, run the bull run. But as Shell was just telling us, volumes are going lower. It's not that people have stopped brushing their teeth or having a bath. Uh, what's going wrong with FMCG? See, uh, the volumes uh, pretty much have almost halved, and mm. the main reason behind that is that you know there were many uh, segments within the FMCG categories which were not really staples. So. Yeah, Yes, toothpaste or soaps or all these things are considered staples, but then, you know, the premium end of the markets, mm -hmm. uh, that is where the higher growth rate was coming in. That has slowed down, you know, like urban growth rates, you can see, has come off. The rural is also starting to come off. So there were things like up trading mm -hmm. or new consumers trying out new products. So basically converting from unorganized markets to organized markets, that sort of conversion has come off and that has led to the volume growth almost being uh, in double digits coming off to you know mid single digits that's what you saw in the HUL numbers yeah. so primarily that has led to the earnings uh, slow down and in that terms will of continue into f550 yes that's pretty much i mean given the you know the last quarter results and the outlook that the companies have given out yeah. primarily all these companies are still painting a very bearish picture for going i mean for things going ahead what about margins? Because we saw a little bit of that shift happening, Sagrika, that people said, okay, if, if volumes are not going to pick up, uh, let's try and get a little more of what we are selling. Uh, do you see uh, the company such an, as an HUL, which historically, when you go back three, four years, you, you saw them really enjoying pricing power. Hmm. Do you think with new entrants, uh, with the, sort of the dynamics of the economy also changing, uh, that uh, power has disappeared from uh, majors even as HUL? Uh I wouldn't say that, you know, the power has completely disappeared suddenly. You would see that there are certain categories like soaps and if the palm oil prices are, you know, currently touching 17-month seven, mm. high and all these things. So, uh, you wouldn't see that HUL will sort of uh, not increase the prices yeah. going ahead. But then what they do is probably end up giving higher promotions and, mm. you know, they also la launch other new products which mm. are, you know, slightly at a higher rate, at a higher price. So, you know, the net realization at least stays at the current levels or does not see a deflation to that extent. I want to get into the palm oil that you just mentioned. Palm oil has been a worry point for FMCG. Yeah. We've seen those prices run up a lot in dollar yeah. terms and even so more in the rupee terms. Yes. Uh, so that's beginning to hit. One may argue on the other side there are commodities which have seen an ease off such as wheat as well. Uh, who is best positioned to enjoy this trade-off right now or do you think the palm oil hit 
is going to be quite severe for the likes of say a Godridge or an HUL. See, definitely palm oil as a commodity has stood out in the past and you know copra as well yeah. in terms of vegetable oil segment if you see yeah. which have been quite volatile and the fluctuations have been quite wide mm -hmm. from you know uh, if you take last year's example where for the first half you saw palm oil correcting by 20 odd percent yeah. and now suddenly it is up by 11 percent on a YOY basis so this kind of fluctuation has obviously led to you know sort of uh, companies trying to focus more on inventory management or hedging techniques however uh, definitely the raw material basket is moving higher and which I think it is still even though you see that the CPI and mm -hmm. other inflation benchmarks coming coming off it's still at a very high level mm -hmm. so you definitely see a mar margin pressure going ahead because okay. it's not going to be very easy to sort of you know uh, increase the volumes also to that extent by the by higher promotions uh, last question we saw ITC standing out yeah. in amongst all the pack what is it doing differently is it just the tobacco play and will that be the top preference in the market right now see there are three or four factors that you know makes ITC the best pick as of now one is obviously the cigarette demand being in elastic to an extent that you, it's very visible that the volume degrowth can only be to that extent of minus two to minus three yeah. percent plus this company has very successfully launched the 64 mm cigarettes yeah. where although people are predicting that it's going to be on a lower margin side at the net company level but you are seeing people switching out of the lower margin cigarettes yeah. to this which are relatively on a higher side hence okay. you are still seeing the margins going up so ITC stands just because of that plus also on valuation level it's not really at par with the sector sector is trading at 26 22 one year and two year forward ITC is a bit lower on the I mean close to 21 times so obviously there is some room for ITC to perform well going ahead